everybody, it's Rose, and I promised you a retrospective on all of the diamond paintings that I finished in 2020, and so we're ready to get started on that right now. I spent the day yesterday collecting up everything that I haven't given away, and now I'm ready to show it to you. So, so let's start. The very first diamond painting that I finished in 2020 was this custom that I had made of a painting by Viktor Nizovtsev. I call it Mermaid Swinging, and I think it's absolutely beautiful. Um, the only thing that disappointed me about it was that I specifically asked for it in a 60 by 90 uh, so that I could hang it in a standard size frame and it came in at like I don't know 79 by 89 or something like that so if I'm gonna frame it I have to get a custom frame made which maybe I will someday uh, but it is awfully big it's a lot bigger than I ever wanted so um, I don't actually know if I'm ever gonna frame it we'll see all right on to the next one The second diamond painting that I finished in 2020 was this one that I call Flowers on Black. It was number 238 in my inventory. The Mermaid Swinging, by the way, was number 184 in my inventory. And this one is a 35 by 35 drill area, uh, round drills that I got on Amazon from a store called Cot WQD. K-O-T-W-Q-D. Um, and I absolutely love it. As I said during the post-completion video that I made for it, uh, it reminded me of a sweater that my nephew bought me, oh, probably 25 years ago or more. And um, we went shopping for it together. And this reminds me of that sweater. And I just love it. So this is one that I will someday frame and put up. The third item that I completed in 2020 is this wristlet. Um, I can't remember what I call it or the number. Let's see. Uh, it is number 228 in my inventory. I call it the orange, blue, and green wristlet. And uh, it turned out really, really well. And I haven't used it it's still in its bag uh, but I probably will give it away once I start seeing people for birthdays and things again or I'll use it to store stuff uh, because they make handy little things for you know travel makeup and stuff like that so the the fourth item that I co completed in last year was uh, number four in my inventory and it is something I call dolphins. Uh, it's a 31 by 24 round drill um, drill area. I got it on eBay. I don't know if it's still available there uh, but there you go. So I um, it was like I say one of the very first ones that I ever bought. Would I buy something like this again? No it's too small but what did I know about buying diamond paintings that are the right size for the busyness of the image? You know, back in 2018 when I first started diamond painting, I didn't know any better. Anyway, so this is what you get. I mean, it doesn't look absolutely terrible, but it looks a lot better through the camera than just with my eyes. So um, there you go. So my fifth diamond painting that I completed was number 211, what I call the China doll number three, pink and blue, because I bought a whole bunch of these dolls. And um, these ones I specifically bought one in square drills, one in round drills, and one in crystal drills. And I got them all from the Laoji Yuan store because what I want to do is show the difference between very, very similar diamond paintings in um, different kinds of drills. 
So there's no way that I want to do the same diamond painting three times, but I don't mind doing three variations on it on a theme. So three of these different kind of dolls uh, in round square and, and uh, crystal drills. So, so far, I think this is the only one I've done. Maybe I did one other. We'll find out soon enough. Okay, so I think it turned out kind of cute. Her nose kind of looks like a pig's nose, which is unfortunate. But other than that, I'm not sure if you can see the sparkle, but she's very, very sparkly. She's very, very cute. Okay, on to the next. So the sixth diamond painting that I completed was number 282, the cartoon fish. This is a 50 by 50 canvas. It's a 44 by 44 drill area. I got this in round drills from a store called In Love Arts. And I wanted to try something completely different. So I did the entire thing in a checkerboard pattern before I filled in any of the missing drills. So it took me longer than uh, it normally would have, simply because I had to count sometimes, like count to make sure I was putting a drill where it would be every other one as I was building the checkerboard. Um, not necessarily a technique that I would recommend for somebody um, to do the entire thing as a checkerboard before you start filling it in because that just takes a long time. But I was getting bored and I wanted to do something different. So that's what I did with this. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. I really, really like this one. And um, yeah, it's uh, definitely a good one. My seventh finish of 2020 is number 293, what I call lots of red cabochons. And um, I realized as I was drilling this one that there is not a single red drill on this diamond painting. They, all those ones that kind of look red, they're actually shades of pink. So talk about a badly named diamond painting, this is it. But I still think it looks really, really pretty and I had fun doing it and so I like it. It's a 24 by 24 uh, drill area. I got it on AliExpress and um, yeah, it was, it was just a fun one, just like all special shaped ones are fun. My eighth finish of 2020 is number 253, the blue, gold, and white mandala. Now this is the third copy of this diamond painting that I ordered. I kept on forgetting that I had ordered it before. Um, and I think I ordered two copies during the 1111 sale in 2019. So um, the two that I ordered in 2019 have slightly different drills, I think here, than, um, than the one that I ordered earlier in 2019. Um, so uh, it's a really nice one and I really enjoyed doing it. So I think I got, I think the next one is coming up. And so I still have one left in my stash to work on whenever the number comes up for it. So yeah, so that, that is a pretty one. And I can't remember if I sealed this. I don't remember. I know that there was one that I sealed with I think Tombow and white glue just to do as a, a an experiment, but maybe that's the next one that's coming up later. Okay, so that is uh, number eight. Okay, my ninth finish of 2020 is number 229. Uh, it is a wristlet. I call it the, hold on, got to check, the red, white, and purple wristlet. Um, I got all of these from Peggy Buy. Uh, I'll see if I can find them again. I'm, I'm considering creating a shopping list in case you guys want to buy any of the items that, uh, that I completed. Uh, and if I do, I'll, I'll let you know about it in an upcoming video. All right. Now, number 10, uh, 
in terms of my finishes from 2020 is uh, number 88 in my inventory. It is one that I call Sea Turtles. And um, I actually don't like the way this one turned out at all, at all, at all. Trust me, it looks way better through the camera than it does with my eyes. Um, it really does not look good. Uh, it's a partial. I didn't realize, well, maybe I did realize that because this was part of the, pug, uh, the humongous Peggy buy haul of 2018, I think. And um, so, yeah, it, it's, it's, not, it's not a nice one. <laughs> now, finish number 11 is uh, number 105 in my inventory. It is the Pastel Dragonfly with round drills. Uh, in 2019, I did the Pastel Dragonfly with square drills, and it was a drill-popping nightmare. So I contacted the company and, you know, told them and showed them pictures and stuff and said, you know, I don't want my money back. I want the same diamond painting in round drills, hoping that that'll work out better. And so they, they sent me the same diamond painting in round drills, and so I did it in round drills, and it turned out beautiful. Uh, no popping drills, nothing, um, and so here it is. I did a post-completion video for this, and I did compare the two, so I'm not going to do that now. This is just showing you what I finished before, uh, but there are post-completion videos for everything that you're going to see today, and all you have to do is just search the names of what I call them. So this one is uh, Pastel Dragonfly, if you want to find that comparison of the round and the square version. So number 12, in terms of finishes, is the Whale Bubble. It's number 288 in my inventory. And I call them bubble diamond paintings because the different sizes of drills of the same color give the impression of bubbles. And so I went crazy and bought a whole bunch of these during the, I think, 2019 AliExpress 1111 sale or Black Friday sale, I can't remember which. And, um, and so I've done a lot of them and I still have a lot of them left to do, uh, whenever their pennies come up. And I just, I love doing these. They're so much fun to do. They're quick, uh, but not that quick. They're full coverage essentially. And I just, I love doing them. They're fun and they are super sparkly. So there you go. So that was, um, the whale bubble. Okay, so finish number 13, yeah, finish number 13 is item number 68 from my inventory. I call it Eagle with Flag. Uh, I got this on Peggy Buy. It wasn't on Peggy Buy anymore last time that I did a video that featured it, uh, but I just saw it on, I believe, New Homie, so uh, you can shop for it there. Uh, I'm Canadian, for those of you that know, don't know, and so... Uh, I wasn't excited about this diamond painting at all, and while I was working on it, I wasn't excited about it. But when I finished it, I was actually, you know, I thought, yeah, it turned out really, really well. And uh, I did use this one as a test canvas, and I can't remember what I, I think I used white glue. Like I, I sort of made a uh, an imaginary line diagonally, used white glue on one half, and used uh mod podge maybe on the other half i can't i can't even remember now uh, but there's a ceiling video for this and uh you can you can find it if you if you look up ceiling uh on my channel uh i sealed this and i think a few other diamond paintings at the same time trying different techniques uh anyway it uh i can't even tell which which part of it was sealed with what uh it did reduce the sparkle a little bit but um but i mean the diamonds are on there and they're not going to come off so pretty happy with the uh with the final effect of this and if you like it then uh, you will be able to find it in new homey and like i say i will over the course of the next week or two try and put together um a google sheet that includes links to all of the diamond paintings that i'm showing you today Number 14 for my finishes is number 250 in my inventory, 
and it is the Cheshire Cat Mandala, and this is copy one. This was another one that during either the Black Friday sale in 2019 or the 1111 sale on AliExpress, I went crazy and I bought a whole bunch of, di like, I don't know, I think I bought about 60 or 70 diamond paintings, uh, and I accidentally bought two copies of this from different stores. And um, so the, the other penny for the other one came up later in the year, so I did it as well, so you'll soon be able to see uh, the other one. But um, it's a special shapes. It was, it was fun to do. I think I sealed this one too. It feels like it was sealed. Yeah, one thing I don't mind about getting duplicates of stuff is I can experiment with at least one of them. Finish number 15 is number 90 in my inventory. I got this during the humongous Peggy Buy haul, and it is what I call the Sepia Roses. It is a partial diamond painting, and I think it turned out well. I have a bunch of other colors of these roses. I just haven't pulled the pennies for them yet, so someday when they come up, I will be doing the other ones, and then I'll probably show them all sort of side by side. Um, yeah, so that's that one. Finish number 16 is Candy Skull number one. Uh, it is number 117 in my inventory. And um, I don't actually like diamond paintings of skulls, but I like special shaped diamond paintings. And this was another one that I got during the Peggy Buy haul. And um, so there you go. I, I mean, you know, it turned out. I suppose. Uh, like I say, I don't like skulls, but I do like special shapes. Okay, so number 17 in my finishes from last year is number 62 in my inventory. It is uh, Cat Tapestry number three. Um, I collect Cat Tapestry diamond paintings, and I'm up to 11. Uh, I just did the unboxing for number nine, and I've got numbers 10 and number 11 on order. Um, so this one I call the Waterfall Cat. It actually looks pretty good through the camera. It looks atrocious with my eyes. This is way too small for a diamond painting this busy, which is too bad. I don't know if I've got this one in a bigger size. Maybe I haven't found it in a bigger size yet. I don't know. Anyway, uh, if I find it in a bigger size, I'll get it in a bigger size because I like doing the cat tapestries. Uh, so that's that one. Finish number 18 is item number 116 in my inventory. It is the pink and gold mandala. It's a special shape, of course. Um, I don't know if you're getting the sparkle at all, but uh, it is it is quite sparkly. I got this one um, also as part of the Peggy Buy haul, the first Peggy Buy haul. So uh, so there you go. I got I think about I don't know fifty four or fifty six diamond paintings at it all together during that Peggy Buy haul. So um, so there's a lot of them that you'll see. Number 19 is another one from the Peggy Buy Hall. It is number 86 in my inventory. I call it Romantic Night. It is a 33 by 24, and it looks absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. I have seen it somewhere in one of the shops that I am uh, working with now in a bigger size. I think it's a 40 by 50. In a 40 by 50, it might work, but this was, uh, the uh, the canvas is uh, 30 by 40. It's way too small, way too small. Like, it's pretty much impossible to even tell what it is. But it's done. Okay, my 20th finish of 2020 is uh, number 128 in my inventory. It is the Mystical Tree. It is a 50 by 70 square drill diamond painting. Uh, I got it on Alibaba 
and um, I really, really like the final effect. I did not like working on it because there were just a terrible, terrible number of popping drills. The drills were just not great. So this is one that I had to seal as I went along. And um, so I'd seal it in four inch strips because I work on my diamond paintings in four or five inch strips. And um, so it's, I think it's safe now, um, but, uh, but boy, was it frustrating while I was working on it. But as a finished product, it looks really, really nice. Finish number 21 is item number 352 in my inventory. Uh, it is what I call Majestic Owl. It is a 40 by 50 canvas. Uh, the drill area or the image area is 42 by 32. Um, and I absolutely loved everything about this. It was fantastic. It looks spectacular. Uh, I don't know if you're getting the glitter effect, but it is just a beautiful, beautiful piece. Now, I know that this is also available in a 30 by 40 canvas, and I'm actually thinking I'll order it in a 30 by 40 at some point because I want to see how it compares to this. I'm sure it's going to look good because changing size with a special shapes diamond painting is not as bad a thing as changing sizes and going down in size with round or square drills. Um, because the, you know, the, the, anyway, it's not the same thing. So I think I'll try it in the smaller size. Uh, but I just loved everything about working on this and I love the way it turned out. Spectacular. Number 22 in terms of finishes last year, uh, is number 156 in my inventory. It is uh, what I call the Crystal Merwoman. It is a 40 by 40. The actual area of the drill area is 30 by 39. It is from uh, Nanjing Yuhao store on Alibaba, but you can buy this on Laoji Yuan or Old Home Street on AliExpress. Um, you can buy it in full round, full crystal, which they call pebble, or full square. Um, I, when I'm shopping at, uh, you know, Nanjing Yuhao or um, Laoji Yuan or Old Street Home or Old Home Street, whatever it's called, uh, I always, I almost always buy the crystal drill diamond paintings because, you know, it's one of the, they're one of the few stores that allow you to choose pretty much every single one of their diamond paintings in either square, round, or uh, crystal. So um, so why not get the crystal, right? Um, I really, really like the way it, it turned out. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, I'd say it's a good, it's a good finish. Uh, it's, it is sparkly. I'm not sure if you can see that through the camera, but it is sparkly. And um, yeah, I really like it. Finish number 23 is um, number 292 in my inventory. It is the pink, green, and blue mandala. It's a special shapes that I got um, on AliExpress, and uh, it's very pretty, very, very pretty. I really like it. Um, it's kind of, it's what I consider one of my elegant special shape diamond paintings. Really nice. Finish number 24 is another special shape diamond painting. It is uh, Raccoons. And um, I really enjoyed doing this. I made a huge order from Fancel's, I think about 67 diamond paintings, all of them special shapes. Um, and that was in, I think, April of 2020 that I made that uh, big order. And I never regretted it because I absolutely love doing special shape diamond paintings and I'm always happy when the number for one of them comes up in one of my penny picks. So this one was fun. 
Finish number 25 is another one of the um, special shape diamond paintings that I got during that big order from Fancells last April. Uh, it is number 317 in my inventory. I call it the gold, brown, and blue mandala. And I love it. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It was fun to work on. It looks pretty. What is not to love? Finish number 26 is number 50 in my inventory. It is Angel Cat, number one. It's a partial round drill diamond painting that I got from Peggy Bye uh, during the big Peggy Bye haul. And um, I think it looks, it looks cute. Uh, what can I say? Um, it's cute, it was fun to do. And I did also get this, I think in special shapes, and it's coming up um, because I finished it later in the year. So, uh, so this is the just round drill partial. And yeah, it's, it's cute, it's cute. Finish number 27 is uh, item number 149 in my inventory. It is uh, the Buddha. Uh, this is one that I won as a freebie on AliExpress. It was the first freebie that I won on AliExpress. And I do have a video about how to apply for freebies. So you can search for that on my channel. And uh, yeah, it's 40 by 50 square drill. And it turned out absolutely beautiful. Uh, when I had just finished like the maybe the first three or four inches uh, I had a friend over and she saw she saw what I had done and she saw the rest of the diamond painting um, or no she didn't because it was paper covered uh, anyway just based on that little bit at the top she said I want that one so once the pandemic is over I will be giving this to my friend who said she wanted it it's gorgeous um, I absolutely love it uh, there were little issues uh, because some of the drills don't fit tightly together, but it's hardly even noticeable. And the more I look at it, the more I love it. So, yeah, this is an absolute win in every possible way since I won it. Finish number eight. No, finish number 28 is um, the... Red and blue, I think. Hold on, what's it called? Blue and red pencil box. Uh, I got this from Peggy Buy, and I went, I bought a whole bunch of pencil boxes. And um, so I'm not going to open it all up, but uh, but these are super, super cute. I haven't actually started using any of them, but I plan on using them and giving them away um, eventually. I don't know when, when I get myself organized. But yeah, very, very pretty. Finish number 29 for 2020 is number 357 in my inventory. It is what I call the framed colorful peacock. Uh, the area that is including the frame is 24 by 34. I got it at Fancel's during the big uh, purchase of uh, special shape diamond paintings. I absolutely love this one. I think it turned out gorgeous and I mean I love peacock diamond paintings uh, but this one here as I was working on it it's like oh my god it is so beautiful and now looking at it again after I don't know how many months that it's been you know put away uh, it's like oh my god this is so beautiful I have to put this one up finish number 30 is number 136 in my inventory. This is the other angel cat. So this is angel cat number two and it's special shapes instead of uh, a round partial. So, I mean, I, I enjoyed it. Um, I don't love the finished products for either one of these, but they were fun to work on. So, you know, like that's all I ask of a diamond painting. Finish number 31 
is item number 139 in my inventory. It is another uh, special shape diamond painting. Um, I call it the golden blue cat and I like the way it looks. I enjoyed working on it. What's not to like about special shape diamond paintings and cats? So um, yeah, it was, uh, it was a fun one and I think it looks nice. I'd never put it up, but I like it. Finish number 32 is the, what's it called? The red and silver mandala sketchbook. Uh, sketchbook because the pages don't have lines. I love doing diamond painting notebooks, love them. Uh, I give them away as gifts, I use them myself. Um, there is nothing not to love about diamond painting notebooks. Unfortunately, the sun's not shining in here so that you can see this baby sparkle, but it is just a beautiful piece and I love it. Finish number 33 is a square drill um, diamond painting. Uh, it is number 239 in my inventory and I call it the elephant tapestry. I first saw somebody finish this on Reddit and I was just blown away by it. I had to go out and buy it right away. And um, so I did, and then it came up in a penny pick or a quarter pick. And um, so I was very happy to work on it. I absolutely love it. I think I would have liked it a bit bigger. And I did see it in another uh, store uh, in brighter colors. I think it's offered on Evermoment. I got this one on Cuff W Key, and I think I had to seal it because I think there were a, I think there were some um, popping drills, but I think I saw it again on Evermoment and uh, Evermoment, I mean, their drills are absolutely perfect. So um, yeah, I, I love this diamond painting and I will put this one up because I think it is just beautiful. Um, very happy with it, even though it was a little frustrating to work on. Finish number 34 is another one of my special shaped drill diamond paintings. Uh, this one I got from Joom and um, I call it Crystal Cat with Butterfly. And what's not to like about crystal and special shaped diamond paintings? So would I ever put it up? No, I wouldn't. But I really enjoyed working on it. I think it's a pretty picture. It's all good. Finish number 35 is another one of my uh, bubble diamond paintings. Uh, this one is number 289. I call it the Dino Bubble. And it's super cute because all diamond paintings are uh, all uh, special, sorry, all bubble diamond paintings are super cute. Yeah, I loved working on it. Super fun. Finish number 36 is number 350 in my inventory. It is uh, the Blue Fairy. It is special shapes. And I love the image. I loved working on this. I think it's just beautiful. And um, yeah, uh, I just, I really, really like it. Again, I'm sorry that you don't see the sparkle but um, it really is a lovely diamond painting. This is one that I'd actually like to do as a full drill diamond painting, uh, square if possible, uh, in a bigger size. I think it would look spectacular. So finish number 37 is Europa and Zeus. This is another custom that I had made. I had this one made by Cuff W Key. Um, and I think it turned out absolutely beautiful. I love it. And this is one that I will be hanging 
probably in my living room because I absolutely adore it. Um, I haven't ordered the frame for it yet, but I will be ordering the frame. And this one I will have to seal because um, I've noticed a few drills have fallen off of it uh, and I've been able to put them all back so far, but I want to seal it. Um, so I'll be doing that in an upcoming sealing video. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's a 60 by 90 and of course it's square drills. Finish number 38 is item number 10 in my inventory. It is the Moon Tree. Uh, it's one of the very first diamond paintings I ever bought. I got it on eBay. Um, I know it's available on other diamond painting sites, so uh, I think the last time I went looking for it, the link that I bought it with no longer works. So when I create my list of um, links for all the diamond paintings you're seeing today, I'll find a link that works. It's nice. It's a round drill. Uh, it's quite small. It's 23 by 33. Um, I like the image on the website. Uh, it, it's a little pixelated for my taste. It would look better, better one size up, say a 40 by 50. That's like a 35 by 25 or 25 by 35 would no. A 35 by 45. Uh, size for the drill area would make this look a lot better. Um, yeah, so, oh well, it's still pretty. Finish number 39 in 2020 is uh, the white and blue mandala. It's a special shape diamond painting, um, and it's number 335 in my inventory. It's one of the ones that I got during the big Fancells haul, and I think it looks fantastic. Um, I just yesterday, well, this morning actually, um, posted uh, the video of my the three mystery diamond paintings that I got from somebody. I have no idea who. I didn't order them. And there was a wall uh, hanging like a, a, a framed round drill wall hanging and I think it might be the same mandala um, I'll have to check I'm not gonna check now but anyway um, I love this I think it's absolutely beautiful I'll uh, just show you a little bit close up and again the Sun's not shining so you don't get any sparkle but it is so intricate it's so pretty I just love it absolutely love it. If you like mandalas, you still got a whole bunch of mandalas coming your way today. Finish number 40 is another mandala. Uh, this is number 251 in my inventory. It is the blue, purple, and green mandala. Uh, it's special shapes and I got it uh, during the either the Black Friday sale or the 11.11 sale in 2019 on AliExpress. And I think, I don't know if I sealed this or not. No, I don't think I did. Um, but it, it's really pretty. And uh, the way the sun's coming in now, it's hitting the, the pile of diamond paintings that I'm making after I show you these. And so they're sparkling like crazy. But um, unfortunately, uh, the sun's not shining in such a way that it's uh, making these diamonds sparkle. So, oh well, you can only imagine how sparkly these are. Uh, but it's really pretty. This is another one that I bought two of by accident. The second one hasn't come up yet in a penny pick, but, uh, but I'll be happy to do it when it does. Okay, finish number 41 of 2020 is number 174 in my inventory. I call it Dragon Phoenix Tiger Snake. I got it on AliExpress. I don't remember where. It's a 70 by 50, uh, and it's the four celestial animals. What I didn't realize is that there's a turtle. I believe that's the turtle there. So the snake is on top of the turtle. Um, and uh, in... Uh, 
China, I guess. These are um, sort of mythical creatures. And uh, I saw the diamond painting and I thought it's beautiful and I hoped that it would be a large enough size that I would be able to get the detail on the, the animals. And I think it renders the animals pretty well. So this is one I might put up. Um, I have so many others that I want to put up. So I don't know when. Maybe I'll, I'll have an area of my place that I switch diamond paintings out so that I can show different diamond paintings at different times. But anyway, I, I like it. I like the colors. I like the subject. Yeah, it's a good one. And this one is round drills. I don't know why I bought it in round drills because I don't usually buy round drill diamond paintings when I buy big sizes. Um, I prefer them in, in squares, but eh, this looks fine. All right, finish number 42 is the ubiquitous blue owl. Now this is item number 57 in my inventory. It is one of the items that I bought during the humongous Peggy buy haul. And I bought this blue owl in two sizes. I bought it in um, a 20 by 30 canvas, which works out to the 14 by 24 can uh, drill area that you see in front of you. And I bought it in a 30 by 40 canvas which was like a 24 by 34 um, drill area. Uh, a friend of mine asked me to give her the larger canvas, so I did. Uh, so I can't, you know, so I, I probably won't ever do the Blue Owl again. But um, yeah, this one here, it's, it's a little pixelated. Um, but I think everybody should do the Blue Owl. And I put out a challenge to my viewers in a video a few weeks ago, and it's been taken up by a number of my viewers to do the Blue Owl, if they haven't. You can find it in just about every size, wherever you look. You can find it on New Homie and Fancells and Peggy Buy. You can also find bigger um, versions of it on AliExpress and Spell Queen and other stores. Uh, you can find it in round and square. You can find it in special shapes. Uh, so, I mean, if you are up to the challenge of doing the Blue Owl, you will be able to find it in whatever size and whatever kind of drill wets your whistle or makes you happy. So the challenge is still out there. Finish number 43 is a diamond painting that I absolutely love. Uh, it's number 319 in my inventory. It is one of the ones that I bought when I bought all that huge order of special shape diamond paintings from Fancells in uh, the spring last year in 2020. And I call this one the blue and green lace mandala because to me it looks like the kind of lace doily that my mother would have crocheted when she was um, when when she was younger. And uh, I just absolutely love it it is so pretty it's super sparkly although again the sun's not shining uh in a way that you know will will make this sparkle but it is just a lovely lovely diamond painting and um yeah i'm so glad i got it the colors are just so pleasing and i i consider this to be one of my um sort of classy special shape diamond paintings because a lot of them are quite garish and that's fine. I don't mind garish, but this one here, it's lovely. Like it is absolutely lovely. Um, and I'm so happy that I got it. Okay, next up is finish number 44. Uh, it is another one of the Fancells special shape diamond paintings that I bought in the spring last year. And I call this one Pensive Kitty Cat in a Calla Lily. And it's absolutely cute. I really enjoyed working on it. I will never put it up, but I love working on it. I just love the way the kitty cat looks. The Calla Lily is gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Um, yeah, so very nice. It was fun to do. Finish number 45 is the French Peacock. 
This used to be available on uh, Royal Diamond Paintings website. This is a 75 by 100 um, diamond painting square drills. Took me a long time to finish, but I absolutely love it. This one I will be getting framed. Um, I'll probably order the frame sometime this year uh, because I definitely want to put this one up. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Just beautiful. And I mean, I put so much work into it uh, that I definitely want to put it up. Um, yeah, no regrets on this. Love it. So finish number 46 is um, number 190 in my inventory. Um, it is a custom. It's a photo of my father, my daughter, and me taken, I don't know, about 12 or 13 years ago. Um, I have the frame for it. I ordered it uh, before Christmas and it just arrived, I think, last week. So I will be sealing this and I did seal it as I worked on it because there were some popping drills and I noticed that a couple of drills have popped off. Well, it looks like I can see three at least drills that have come off uh, since it's been in storage. Um, and so uh, I'll be filling those drills in and sealing it and hanging it. Uh, probably in the next two or three weeks. Um, I really, really like the way it turned out. Uh, the further away you are from it, the better it looks, but uh, it turned out pretty well. And I got this one from Royal Diamond Painting. It is a 75 by 50. It's square drills, of course, because I like working in uh, square drills in the larger sizes. Um, yeah. It's, uh, it's pretty good, a little bit poppy, um, but, uh, but generally speaking, yeah, I'm happy with it. So um, there you go. Okay, so finish number 47 is this um, notebook. It's got lined pages, which I love. I call it the Concentric Circles Notebook. Uh, again, it is super sparkly. Unfortunately, the sun's not hitting it, so, well, the sun's hitting it, but not directly, so you're not seeing the sparkle. Um, I just love it, and uh, it's number 268 in my inventory, and I think I didn't tell you what the inventory number for the peacock was, just in case you were interested. So that French peacock, the 75 by 100 that I showed you, was uh, item number 114 in my inventory. So... Yeah, so love this. Okay, so this is finish number 48 that I did last year. And this comes from my first order that I got working with GBFKE. So this one here uh, is number 378 in my inventory. I call it Peacocks with Flowers. Uh, it's a 74 by 25 drill area. And uh, it turned out pretty well, considering the size. Uh, I'd say that the thing that, um, like it definitely would look better in a bigger size, uh, because that second peacock down here, it really doesn't even stand out. Like this one does, because you've got the tail and, you know, all the colorful feathers. But this smaller peacock in the background uh, doesn't really stand out that much. It was fun to work on. It didn't take me very long because it's really not that big. It's a round drill. The colors are pretty. The drills were good. Really, really good. Uh, so what's to, you know, I got nothing else to say about it. It's very pretty. It was fun to do. Okay, so finish number 49 for 2020 was uh, the second version of the Cheshire Cat special shape diamond painting that I got. This one is number 255. Um, you'll, you might recall the first one that I did was number 250, uh, which just tells you how crazy I got when I was doing that uh, 1111 or 
Black Friday sale buying in 2019 that, you know, items just five apart, I forgot that I had already ordered. Um, anyway, that's what happens when I go into a buying frenzy. Anyway, it was fun to do. I don't love the finished product. Like, I don't actually think it looks great. But, um, like, I mean, it's, it's exactly what it's supposed to be. The diamonds are great. Uh, the glue was great. Everything was great about it. I just don't love the finished image, but I loved working on it. I mean, placing all the drills was great. So I would recommend it if, if you like the image or if you like placing drills. Okay, so my 50th finish of 2020 is this uh, stained glass rose that I got at the Mia Odu store on AliExpress. It is number 274 in my inventory. Um, I absolutely love this. Love it. Uh, it was a pain in the ass to work on because uh, I, the drills were, the drills were poppy. I'm pretty sure I sealed this. Um, I will be framing this and putting it up. Uh, it, it is still super sparkly because I, I now have a new technique of uh, sealing. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but like it is crazy sparkly. It is just beautiful. Um, and so I am, uh, yeah, I will, I will definitely be, be hanging this. I'm not sure quite how I'm going to frame it yet, but this one is too beautiful not to put up as far as I'm concerned. Um, I just love it. I just love it. Uh, as frustrating as it was to work on. And this one, I ran out of drills. I think down in here, I ran out of drills. Um, but even so, I don't care. The finished product, spectacular. So um, yeah, so there you go. That is number 50. Okay, finish number 51 is another one of the Bubble Diamond paintings. This is uh, number 302 in my inventory. I call it the Chick Bubble. Uh, again, super fun, super cute. I'm never going to do anything with it. It's just super adorable. So um, it, was, it was a blast to do. It took me, I don't know, two hours maybe, something like that. Hour and a half, I can't remember. Um, and now it's done and... There you go. So finish number 52 is um, this mandala that I got at Peggy Buy during the Peggy Buy haul. And uh, it turned out beautiful. And I think you might be now, the sun is starting to, um, to hit uh, my table in such a way that uh, I'm starting to see sparkle. Uh, I hope you're starting to see some sparkle too. Um, it's a shame that we didn't see it on the earlier diamond paintings because there were some spectacular diamond paintings uh, like that Europa and Zeus one. The way the light plays on it is just gorgeous. Like it's so beautiful. Um, anyway, this one here also very beautiful. Uh, it's a 30 by 30 area for the mandala which is bigger than a lot of the mandalas which tend to be 23 or 24 square um, so this one's uh, considerably bigger uh, I loved working on it I loved everything about this I think I might have run out yeah I ran out of a couple of drills right here uh, had to you know put in some replacements and I think there's one over here that I also ran out of um, but other than that, it was just excellent. I loved it. Loved the way it looks. Nobody's ever going to notice that, you know, there were drills missing. Took a long time to do this because there are teensy tiny little what I call petal drills uh, all over the thing. And um, these are these tiny, tiny, tiny little drills. Uh, anyway, it uh, took a long time to, to do this. And um, I loved every second of it. So, um, yeah. Big win, number 85 from Peggy Bye. Finish number uh, 52. Yeah, okay. Okay, so finish number 53 is one that I call Windblown Hair. 
It is another special shape diamond painting that I got during the big special shape diamond painting haul from Fan Cells last April. Um, it's number 338 in my inventory and it is, I don't know if you can see that, but it is super sparkly. So this is all just crystal and AB drills. Uh, there's no special shapes as it were, but I loved working on this. I just love this diamond painting. Um, I'm actually thinking of getting the same image in like a square drill diamond painting or a round, well, I'd prefer square drill, um, but uh, it'll probably be easier to find it in a round drill. Um, so yeah, I just loved this. It was, it was great. It was fun to work on. Everything about it was great. Finish number 54 is number 304 in my inventory. It's another one of the bubble diamond paintings that I bought in the 2019 um, Black Friday or 11 and 11 sales. I went crazy on both of those sales and probably ordered, you know, close to 80 diamond paintings. Um, and I just loved working on it. Again, it's super cute, super fun to work on. And I'll never look at it again, probably, as after making this video. So, so there you go. But it was fun to work on. Uh, all right. So I think I just have one more that I'm going to show you in this part of this video. And I'm going to record the second part of this video tomorrow. But let's take a look at number 50. Five, finish number 55, just a sec. Okay, so finish number 55 is another one of my diamond painting notebooks, which I love. And this one is called uh, The Blue Dragon Sketchbook. And it's a sketchbook because there are no lines. Uh, it is number 220 in my inventory. And I absolutely loved working on this. It was spectacular. It looks so much better than I thought it would. And I'm really, really happy with it. I got to say, I just love my notebooks and sketchbooks. So that's it. I'm going to stop recording now. I will pick it up again tomorrow and um, or maybe the day after. I'm not sure. Uh, I think I have... Yeah, I have a lot of unboxings to do. So tomorrow I'll, uh, I'll make an unboxing video uh, and then get back to finishing the um, show and tell for the completed videos of 2020. I've done half of them so far. And so you'll see the other 54 completions in the next part of this video. Well, hi again. So are you ready for part two of this video? Um, this one is probably going to be just a little bit shorter than the other one because um, some of the ones that would have been in this one were given away. So I don't actually have them to show to you, but I will do my best to uh, show you all of the rest of the projects that I finished in 2020. Ready? So finish number 56 is item number uh, 224 from my inventory. And this is what I call the pink and green pencil box. So very, very nice, very soft colors. This one here had um, these drills, the, the blue, the blue drills that you see here. Um, they had concave bottoms so I had to glue all of them down with Tombow but you can't tell that can you and now they are they are extremely well adhered those are not going anywhere uh, so that there you go very pretty finish number 57 is item number 346 the rainbow zebra it's a special shapes diamond painting from fan cells I love it now, again, because of the way the sun is not shining, um, I'm not getting the sparkle off the diamonds, um, but I put on the camera light in the hopes that 
this will sparkle. This looks fantastic when the light is hitting it properly and it looks fantastic at night. Uh, I don't know why, but the ambient light at night makes special shapes diamond paintings just look amazing. Finish number 58 is another special shapes diamond painting. And this is what I call peacock feather dress. It's number 78 in my inventory. And I had had this one for a long time before I started working on it. And as soon as I started working on it, I realized this one is special. It looks absolutely incredible. Uh, way better done than I thought it would. With the mix of the special shape drills and the crystal drills, and the AB diamonds throughout her hair and dress and in the background. This is just such a pretty diamond painting. So item number 59 is this tiny little project. It is a diamond painted bracelet. And um, it's just, just a little thing. Uh, this is number 223 in my inventory. And I think I got it at the pink raspberry. Finish number 60 is another special shape diamond painting. This is number 313. I call it Peacocks and I got it from Fancel's last uh, April when I went crazy buying special shape diamond paintings from them. It really is absolutely gorgeous. Item number or finish number 61, um, is yet another special shape diamond painting. This one also comes from Fancel's. It is number 343 in my inventory, and I call it Owls in a Tree for some strange reason. Finish number 62 last year is one of my all-time favorite diamond paintings. Uh, this is number 240 in my inventory. I call it the Snake Charmer. It's a 50 by 65 square drill diamond painting that I got from Cuff W Key on AliExpress. I know not everybody loves this, but I just adore it. I loved everything about this diamond painting. And yeah, I think it's going to be one of my favorites for all time. That is one that I'm definitely going to get framed. Finish number 63 uh, is one of the smallest square drill diamond paintings I've ever done. And this is uh, number 56 in my inventory. It's called Beach Villas. That's what I call it. Uh, it's 24 by 19. And I got this from the humongous Peggy Buy Hall. Um, I got this in a larger size and I think you're going to see that later. Uh, so that uh, because I wanted to compare what it looked like in a bigger size. Finish number 64 is a round diamond painting that I got from Peggy by. It's number 91 in my inventory. I call it Swan Lovers and I don't like it. I don't, I just don't like it. I think that the swan, especially the white swan, is not well defined in the picture. The background just looks wonky. I don't like this one, but it's done. Okay, my finish number 65 is this really pretty full crystal diamond painting that I got from, uh, I'm not sure where. Um, no, I, I don't know where I got it. Can't remember. Didn't mark it on the uh, diamond painting either. Uh, but I, I like the way it turned out. And I have another one. I call this one Crystal Rainy Night A with the bench on the left. I have the partner to this diamond painting, which I call Crystal Rainy Night B bench on the right. And uh, they're both 35 by 42 drill areas. And uh, yeah, I, I really, really like them. Finish number 66 is uh, yet another special drill diamond painting. This one here I call Blue and Purple Peacock. It is number 141 in my inventory. And 
and I think it turned out really nice. Finish number 67 is a special shapes. I call this type of special shape diamond painting a bubble diamond painting uh, because they look like bubbles when they're on the canvas. And I call this one the bunny bubble. I just love these things. I love doing them. I love the way they look when they're done. And, you know, they don't take long to do, but you get, you definitely get your money's worth when you're doing one of these. They're so much fun. Love them. And I'll be continuing to work on these. Okay, so my finish number 68 uh, is in a theme of roosters. Uh, so I like roosters. I grew up on a farm and I used to feed the chickens. And so when I see a rooster diamond painting, I'm always, always tempted to buy it. So this one here I actually did in a slightly different method than most diamond paintings. I started in the middle and I worked my way out on the diamond painting. Uh, and I mean, it turned out pretty well. So I'm not saying I'm gonna do it again, but uh, I found that was an interesting way of working on a diamond painting. And I think this one turned out pretty good. I like it. Uh, it's number 385 in my inventory. I call it rooster number two. It's 35 by 25 drill area. And I got it from GBFKE. Finish number 69 is yet another special shape diamond painting that I got from Fan Cells last spring. And uh, I love this one. I call it the Green and Purple Moon. It's number 330 in my inventory. And I think it is just beautiful. In fact, so beautiful that I bought another copy of it to work on. Finish number 70 is uh, one of a four-part kit that I got from Amazon. Uh, this I call Pink Mandala number two, and its number is 135.3. Um, I labeled each of the four mandalas in the kit, uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4. So very sparkly, very pretty. It's not, like there's not a lot of diamondage to it, but that's okay. It still looks pretty and it was fun to do. Okay, so my finish number 72 is another one of my Peggy Buy diamond paintings that I got in January of 2019 and or 2018. I think it was 2018. And um, it's number 55 in my inventory. It's called Autumn Lake. Uh, 35 by 25 centimeter drill area, round drills, and I think it turned out pretty good um, considering, you know, how small it is. So, yeah, I mean, I was surprised by how good this turned out, how well it turned out. Yeah, very pretty, and it's sparkly. Okay, so my finish number 72 is another item that I got at Peggy Buy. Uh, it is number 221 in my inventory. So this was not part of the humongous Peggy Buy haul. Uh, it is the Red Dragon sketchbook. And um, again, it turned out really, really well. The only thing that I did that was different from, you know, the pattern on the cover was I gave the dragon a green crystal eye. Um, because I thought that would look good. And I still think it looks good. So yeah, I love the diamond painting notebooks. So the next item that I finished, uh, and this would be finish number 73, is a partial round diamond painting that I got from June. Uh, I call it Castle. Uh, it's number 104 in my inventory. It was one of my first orders from June. It was also one of my last orders from June because I just found I didn't like their um, their refund policy. Um, 
and uh, yeah, my daughter and I recorded the finish for this because I did it when I was visiting her just this past summer and um, it was just so bad. Anyway, uh, yeah, this is not one of my better diamond paintings. Uh, it was quick to do, but I think it looks pretty awful. <laughs> Okay, so finish number 74 uh, is an item that I got from GBFKE and uh, it is number 408 in my inventory, the purple and pink peacock. It is 24 by 33 square drills and I think it turned out pretty nice. I mean it would be better in a bigger size of course, but generally speaking I think the detail to it is pretty good, so I'm happy with this one. So finish number 75 is uh, number 281 in my inventory. I call it the stained glass butterfly. And I mean, I'm looking at it now and it looks absolutely fantastic, but I did find that this one was a real pain to work on because uh, the drills were too small to cover fully the symbols and I mean you can't tell from a distance but when you zoom in you can see behind the light colored drills not only are there spaces but you can see the black uh, training wheels or guide circles or whatever you want to call them behind the drills. Uh, so that was a real heartbreak for me because I absolutely love this image. I might have to get it in a square drill from another diamond painting company at some point. This one I got from, I think it was Home Fun. Let me just double check. Yes, it was Home Fun. So finish number 76 is yet another one of my special shape diamond paintings. This one comes also from Fancel's. Uh, it's a larger size than most special shape diamond paintings. This is a 35 by 35 image area and uh, it's number 364 in my inventory. I call it the blue, green, and pink mandala. And I really, really enjoyed working on this, and I think it looks really, really pretty. And someday I will mount it. So finish number 77 is what I call Lily. This was a test diamond painting that I did for We Have a Handle on this. It is number 448 in my inventory. It's square drill and it's 65 by 50 uh, centimeters. Uh, I absolutely adore this diamond painting. And this is one that I would love to frame. Um, it was a little bit of a pain in the butt doing some of it because the drills didn't fit perfectly. I think there was a little bit of pop, not popping, but they were really tight in some places. And um, anyway, but you would never know that looking at it. And I think it's gorgeous. So yeah, definitely love it. And I hope that when we have a handle on this settles on their supplier, if they haven't already, uh, that they will have this image, which is proprietary to them. Um, I hope they'll have this image reproduced by their new supplier. All right, so finish number 78 is what I call the sunflower purse. And it is, it has a long handle, whoop, which I just store inside the bag. Um, and it's just a cute little purse that you can carry uh, whatever you need to carry with you. And um, I just think it's adorable. And it was the first time that I came across these gold foil covered uh, crystal drills. Um, and I just loved it. I just love the effect of this. I think it's a beautiful little piece. It is number 478 in my inventory. 
I got it from Craftsy Art. Finish number 79, I can't show you because it was a set of eight Christmas cards, um, number 477 in my inventory, and uh, they looked so nice. They were like, they were just so beautiful. And I sent them out for Christmas. And my understanding is that people really loved them. So yeah, I'm glad I did that. And then finish number 80 is this special shape diamond painting. I call it the candy skull number two. It is number 166 in my inventory. I got this one from Cess Deals. I made a big order of a bunch of different kinds of diamond paintings from Cestiles at one time. And um, yeah, so I mean, it was fun to do. I don't like candy skulls or sugar skulls, whatever they're called. Uh, I don't particularly like them, but I like special shaped diamond paintings. So yeah, it's, uh, you know, it turned out pretty. Okay, so my finish number 82. Uh, is a round drill diamond painting, again, that I got from Amazon. This I call the blue-green halo tree, and uh, it is 25 by 25 round drills, and I think it turned out beautiful. I just love it. It's a little diamond painting, but it looks fantastic as far as I'm concerned. Really, really happy with it. So finish number 83 is another round drill diamond painting. I got this one from New Homie. It is uh, number 475 in my inventory and I call it stained glass poppies number two because there is another diamond painting exactly like this that I accidentally bought from another store and it is also stained glass poppies. I haven't done that one yet, but I really, really love the way this turned out. It turned out pretty much exactly the way I hoped it would. And what I'm amazed at is that it turned out this well with only 13 colors. Sometimes you don't need a lot of colors to get a really special effect with your diamond paintings. And this is an example of that. So finish number 84 is just this little tiny diamond painting, 25 by 25 round, uh, that I got from FG Normal. And uh, it's number 461 in my inventory, and I call it flowers number one. And I, I, I like it. I like it. it. It lacks a little bit of definition, but... Uh, I think it turned out really pretty. So finish number 85 is another one of my bubble diamond paintings. This is number 291. I call it the puppy bubble for good reason. Uh, I did get it on AliExpress. I don't remember which store, um, but I'll, when I post the links, to all the uh, diamond paintings. I'll make sure I post a link to this diamond painting. I can't remember if I told you what number my, what inventory number the puppy bubble was. Uh, it is uh, number 291. And next up is finish number 86. Uh, it is a special shapes diamond painting number 248 in my inventory. And I call it the yellow, orange, and blue mandala. Uh, it's 24 by 24. And um, I am so happy with the way that it turned out. I just love it. And I don't know if you're getting the sparkle, but it's super sparkly. I think it's just gorgeous. And here we have finish number 88. Uh, this is called The Red-Haired Girl. It is number 465 in my inventory. It's 25 by 35 round drills, and I got it from New Homie. And I absolutely love the way it turned out. I think she is so adorable. Um, so, so happy with this. 
So finish number 89 from 2020 is uh, number 355 in my inventory. I call it Owls in Oak Tree. It is yet another special shape diamond painting. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think you're going to get much sparkle off it just because of the way that the light is shining. Um, this is a 30 by 40. And uh, again, I enjoyed working on it. I think it looks cute. I'm never going to put it up but I think it's really cute and it was fun to do. And uh, yeah, so I would recommend it based on that. Finish number 90 for 2020 is this um, diamond painting that I got during the Peggy by Hall, the humongous Peggy by Hall. I call it Night Snow Scene. It's number 76 in my inventory. It is a 35 by 25 drill area, round drills, and it turned out way better than I thought it would. So I'm actually really, really happy with the way this turned out. And if you like the image, I would recommend it. This is finish number 91 for 2020. Uh, it is number 324 in my inventory. I call it Friend of the Forest. It's a 30 by 40 special shape diamond painting that I got from Fancells last spring in the great big order that I placed with Fancells. I think it turned out just beautiful. I absolutely love the little squirrel up in the tree. I just, I think it's gorgeous. I'm so happy with it. It was fun to do and I would recommend it. So this blue deer is um, finish number 92 from 2020. It is a square drill diamond painting. I got this one at New Homey. Um, and I love the way it turned out. And I loved the image so much that I got another one of these, but in round drills. So I don't think it's come up yet. Uh, in my penny pick, but uh, at some point you'll be seeing uh, this item, this it, this image done as a round drill diamond painting. So this um, is number 471 in my inventory. It's finished number 92, and I call it Blue Deer number one. Finish number 93 is uh, my first raccoon diamond painting. Well, maybe not. I think I might have gotten some uh, special shaped raccoons. But uh, it's my first like full drill diamond painting of a raccoon. It won't be my last one because it is so cute. I just love the way this turned out. Uh, this is number 466 in my inventory. I got it from New Homey and I just love it so much. I'm buying a bunch of others that are similar to it. What's not to love about this little guy? Okay, so item, well, finish number 94 from 2020 is this LED lamp. I call it the golden blue LED lamp. Uh, it is number 515 in my inventory. Where did I get it? I got it from Fancells, but you can buy these all over the place. Keep the sticker on the back. Uh, I have been running this as a nightlight in my bedroom uh, for, I don't know, the past five or six weeks. I have never turned it off. The, well, now it's going to turn off because I'm going to just check the battery compartment to see what kind of batteries. Oh, I have rechargeable batteries in there. So, um, yeah, it, it costs essentially nothing to run as a nightlight and it gives a nice glow and it looks so pretty. I just love it. I love these LED lamps. And then, uh, finish number 95 is this item that I got during the humongous Peggy by Hall. Uh, this is one of two of this image that I got. I got this one, which is a 24 by 24 round drill, and uh, it's number 92 in my inventory. I call it the Welcome Dog. 
I also got the same image in uh, 30 by uh, 40 by 40 rather so it'll turn out to be probably 34 or 35 by 35 and um, so I personally don't love the way that this one turned out I think the next size up whenever I do it will turn out a lot better um, yeah so that is what number that is number 95 in terms of my finishes from last year. So finish number 96 last year was uh, this diamond painting. It's another one from that four pack of special shape diamond paintings that I got from Amazon. Um, I think it was Amazon. Uh, it is the green and blue mandala. It is 135.4 in my inventory. And again, I think it turned out looking really pretty. It's very simple. There's not a lot of diamonds to it, but you know, it costs like five bucks Canadian, if that. So finish number 97 is uh, this, what I call a uh, cat's sketchbook. Um, it's, it's my current diamond painting notebook and all the tabs are diamond paintings that I'm either finished and need to do a post completion review for or that are in progress so um, I love it uh, it uh, it's great I use it every day I don't fuss about you know keeping my hands off the diamonds uh, I have never lost a diamond off of any of my sketchbooks I know some people like I always when I do a sketchbook I get asked how do I um, seal them I never seal them and like these diamonds they're stuck on there nothing's gonna come off of this and it doesn't matter you know like I'm pressing really hard I'm rubbing really hard I'm trying to like you can still move the diamonds but they're not gonna come off unless you want them to come off um, at least that's been my experience uh, so I'm really happy with this I uh, can't remember where I got it yeah can't remember where I got it but uh, I just love it. I think it's super cute. So finish number 98. Can you believe it? 98. Uh, is this cute little guy. Uh, he is number 484 in my inventory. I call him snowman number two. And I got him from GBFKE. Uh, the drill area is 25 by 35. He is round drills. Now I did embellish this a little bit uh, with um, AB diamonds, which did not come in the kit. I used some that I had uh, in another kit uh, just to make it look more like snow coming down. And uh, I am very happy with the way it turned out. There is not a single white or uh, light color drill in here. Um, this that you see here, which is the lightest color, is a, is a pale green. Um, yeah, not a single 3865 or uh, 5200. So, um, yeah, I, I just love this little guy. He turned out so well. I'm so happy with him, and I'm going to mount him or frame him or do something with him so that I can put him up next Christmas uh, and just enjoy this happy little guy. Love him. Uh, can't remember if I told you, but he's number 484 in my inventory. Finish number 99 uh, came from Everyday e -deals. It is a special shapes uh, mandala type diamond painting. Uh, I call it Circles Mandala. It's number 549 in my inventory. And I had an absolute blast doing this. I loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it. So, so happy with it. It just, it's a happy, happy diamond painting. And um, yeah, I would definitely recommend if you like happy, happy diamond paintings. Finish number 100 of, two, of 2020. Um, this is Elsa. She is number 550. She is another diamond painting that I got from Everyday e -deals. I don't know if she's in stock there anymore, but I'll try and find her for you somewhere. 
Um, and uh, I just, I, I love the way she turned out. She turned out great. Uh, there's, yeah, the, like there are little tiny things that, you know, I wish had been slightly different, like these two pieces of hair there. That, that I find that glaring somehow. Um, but, you know, maybe it doesn't look so bad from a distance. I don't know. Anyway, I'll never put her up, but I enjoyed working on her. Uh, it was a really good experience. I think it's very nicely rendered, considering there's only 23 colors. Um, yeah, uh, what, can else, what else can I say about this? Uh, 24 by 33 drill area. I really enjoyed working on her. Oh, and now the sun is shining and we're getting sparkle. Yay! Okay, so finish 101 is this cute little guy. He is uh, a snowman LED lamp. I just love him. I don't have a battery, or I, uh, yeah, I don't have batteries in him right now. Uh, he can, he does run off of a USB cord if you want to uh, charge him that way. Well, you don't charge him. You have to have the USB connected to have the lights work. But next uh, next Christmas, what I'll do is I'll put a couple of batteries in here. How many batteries does it take? It takes three batteries. I'll put some... Uh, uh, re reusable batteries in there, uh, rechargeable batteries, and um, and I will just have him sit somewhere and uh, sparkle. I think there's like eight or twelve different colors uh, that um, that cycle through if you want, or you can pick any one of those colors uh, and uh, and have it on constantly. Anyway, he's just a, another little happy guy who I love very much. Uh, he is um, number 538 in my inventory. I got him from GBFKE. Um, and yeah, super happy with the way this turned out. Took me a few hours to do him, and I just love him. Okay, so I cannot show you uh, number 102 because it is a set of Christmas ornaments that I got um and sent out with some christmas cards and uh, that they were number 542 in my inventory and then number 103 finish number 103 is another uh item that i can't show you because that was a set of four keychains uh christmas themed key keychains that i sent out uh with some of my christmas cards and gifts um, number, finish number 104 was another set of Christmas cards. Uh, it was an eight pack. Um, and they were, uh, 3D Christmas cards. So they were, they were pretty cool. I really like them. Uh, and so I can't show you those because they are also gone out into the world, uh, as, as part of my Christmas card uh, sending out. Um, number 105 is a square drill diamond painting uh, that I can't show you yet because it is my daughter's Christmas gift and since I didn't see her at Christmas I am saving it to show, uh, to, to give to her whenever we can get together again. Um, maybe that'll be for her birthday in March but I'm not counting on it, um, so I'll have to show you that one at another time. There will be a post-completion video and a framing video for it, so um, so yeah, so I will uh, reserve that one for later. And number 106 uh, is this Diamond Dots partial that I did. It's the first Diamond Dots that I've ever done. And I was blown away by the experience of working on it. It turned out beautiful. It was a joy to work on. The drills are perfect. The glue is unbelievable. Uh, there's no worry that diamonds will fall off of this diamond painting. That's for sure. Uh, this is number 613 in my inventory. It is called the Red Rose Corsage. And... I love it. Uh, this is one that I'll be happy either to give away 
or to frame and put up somewhere in my house. Um, I would never have imagined that I would want to frame a partial diamond painting, but this really does look spectacular. Okay, so we are getting close to the end. This is uh, number 322, the pink, white, and blue mandala, uh, special shapes diamond painting. Uh, it is number 107 of my 2020 finishes. And um, it came from Fan Cells. And I, I quite like it. It's very pretty, very, very pretty. So there we go. Now, number uh, 108 is um, a multi-part diamond painting uh, that I did one part of. So um, I'm not gonna show it to you partly done, but um, I'll save it until I can show you the entire thing. But uh, my finish number 108 was uh, 449.1. So I had um, a large diamond painting of uh, parrots. I call them the rainbow parrots. And I did uh, the leftmost of those parrots. Anyway, I know it's not ideal, me describing it to you, but uh, when I do those uh, large diamond paintings in bits, uh, I'm not going to show them to you until the very end, but they do count as one of my um, small project finishes. So uh, each part of it counts as a small project finish for me. Uh, okay, and so that brings us to my last finish of 2020. This was my 109th project. Uh, this is number 416 in my inventory. I call it the Paper Heart. Um, and it came from New Homie. It is 25 by, 20, uh, 25 by 35 drill area. Uh, and I just realized you can't actually see it all. Okay, there you go. Um, 25 by 35. Uh, I think it turned out really, really well. I'm kind of surprised at how well it turned out. Uh, so I really like it. So, uh, 109 finished products, some of which I can't show you for one reason or another, mostly because they're gone, um, uh, or not yet given away. Uh, so when I calculate the drill area for my finished products, the way I do it is um, for a full drill diamond painting like this, I would multiply 25 by 35 to get me the um, to get me the uh, the drill area for this, which I don't know offhand. Um, when it's a partial diamond painting, regardless of how big the 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 area that is drilled is, I count it as zero uh, square centimeters done. And when it's a special shapes diamond painting. I count it as zero. So uh, the total drill area of full drill diamond paintings that I did in 2020 was 74,617 uh, square centimeters. And again, that doesn't include a single one of the partials that you saw or of the many, many, many special shapes that you saw or any of the items that you saw, like the lamps and the keychains. Well, you didn't see the keychains because I sent them out, but um, notebooks, they don't count into the square centimeters. So uh, probably uh, the actual square centimeters would be more like double that. Um, but since they're not full drill, I don't count them at all in terms of the number of square centimeters completed. So um, so that's it, everybody. That is my 2020 retrospective. I would love to know what you thought of it. I, um, like I say, I will be compiling a list of all of the diamond paintings that I've shown you that I can find a link for. Um, and if I can't use the original link, that because I save all of my links. If I can't find the original link, 
I will uh, try and find it in one of the other stores that I work with now and um, because a lot of these you can buy in multiple stores so uh, I'll just make it easy on myself and look for them um, all in one store if, if that's possible. Uh, so there you go um, and I will post a community post when I have that done. It'll be a Google Doc, it'll be a Google Sheet uh, and you'll just be able to go in to that spreadsheet and find the item number and the, the um, diamond painting name and a link to uh, where you can buy it. Okay, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. I would love to get your comments down below. Um, if you are not yet a subscriber, please take a minute and subscribe to my channel. Um, it, uh, it, it, I really appreciate it when I get new subscribers. I also love to get your comments, so don't be shy about leaving me comments. Um, and uh, you can also become a patron to support my channel uh, with a monthly contribution of $2 uh, or more if you want. And uh, one of the benefits of being a patron besides knowing that you're supporting me making more videos like this is that uh, I have a every two weeks I have a video call with my with my patrons and anybody who wants to can join the call and we just talk about diamond paintings and we drill and we chat and we get to know each other and we laugh and we have a good time so uh, join us um, by becoming a patron and you'll find all of the information for tomorrow's call uh, in the post, the latest post that I made on Zoom for patrons only. Okay, so there you go. And um, I look forward to coming back to you again with another diamond painting video real soon. I love you all. Take care. Have a fantastic weekend, everybody. Bye-bye for now.